Autodromo Jose Carlos Pace, aka Interlagos to most of us. It is host to the Brazilian Grand Prix and has been since 1973. It's a track that I look forward to every single year on the F1 calendar, and in my opinion, is an absolute travesty that it is not the finale of the F1 season. It has held that spot before, but unfortunately no longer, and we all know why. So I thought, let's have a look at why this track deserves that coveted spot as the finale of the F1 season. First and foremost, the layout. This track just promotes wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. With its two long straights into two corners where it's possible to overtake on both the inside and the outside, as long as you're left racing room, to the slower, twisty middle section that rewards the risk takers by poking a nose. It has a lot to provide in such a short lap. This track not just allows drivers to go side by side through corners, but for multiple corners, and that's what makes this track unique compared to others on the calendar. This means we have seen some epic overtakes at this track, which have gone down in the history of Formula One. Montoya sending it up the inside of Michael Schumacher into T1, to Alonso's double overtake on Mark Webber and his own teammate Felipe Massa into the same corner while fighting for that world championship in 2012, to Max Verstappen finding the grip around Curva de Sol turn three, breezing past Nico Rosberg on the restart is just some of the overtakes that we remember as F1 fans at this track. So many to choose from, but this is exactly why this track was designed the way it is. And mentioning of rain with Max Verstappen, this is also what makes Interlagos that much more interesting. We get varying weather. There has been many a wet race at Interlagos and often the track conditions change throughout the race, which makes things that much more interesting. A wet start to dry conditions and vice versa, a dry start to wet conditions. Strategy teams need to be at their utmost alert as things can change very quickly at Interlagos. And these elements mean that we have had many a dramatic race in the past at Interlagos. In recent years, we have had the last couple of laps dash in 2019 with Lewis and Pierre Gasly separated by no more than a car's length at the finish line at the expense of Alex Albon. And of course, last year's race in 2021, how could we forget Lewis Hamilton's charge from the back of the grid going toe to toe with Max Verstappen at the end is still at the forefront of many F1 fans' minds. But as Interlagos was made the last track on the calendar back in 2004, it was partially revoked of its status in 2009 and 2010 when Abu Dhabi was introduced. It regained its rightful position, in my opinion, back as the finale of the calendar for three more years from 2011 to 2013. And during this time, we have seen plenty of world championships decided here when it was the finale. In 2012, we saw Sebastian Vettel's brilliant recovery drive after spinning it on the first lap, having contact and having to fight his way back through the field. Yes, he was in a faster Red Bull, but the pressure was immense. He knew Fernando Alonso was in the required points finish to beat Sebastian Vettel. He needed to fight his way back, and he did that in an impressive fashion at Interlagos. In 2007, we had Kimi Raikkonen sealing his one and only world championship by one point from a rookie Lewis Hamilton and the double world champion Fernando Alonso. And then, how can we forget? The most dramatic of all championship deciders at Interlagos. In 2008, Lewis Hamilton won his first of seven world championships, overtaking Timo Glock at the last corner of the last lap to finish fifth and get the required points to steal the world championship away from Felipe Massa in front of his home crowd. This all came about due to the changing weather conditions that we see so often at Interlagos that just provides this level of drama. And I don't believe any other track has been able to provide this level of drama while being set as the finale of the calendar. It's all down due to the changing weather conditions, the track layout, not false drama, naturally occurring, exactly how it should be. 
Now let's compare this to the track that has replaced Interlagos since 2014 as the finale of the F1 season, Abu Dhabi. Now I can't think of any race that holds a candle to what we have seen at Interlagos. Abu Dhabi for me is always generally quite a boring affair and it's only due to an official making up the rules as he saw fit last year in 2021 that we actually got any drama. But this is false drama, this is not naturally occurring drama due to the nature of the track layout or changing weather conditions which we don't get in Abu Dhabi because it's always bone dry because it's basically made in a desert and the track layout yes some changes have been made to the circuit last year but overall it didn't provide the wheel to wheel racing that we all want to see so dearly in a f1 finale so i for one would love to see interlagos back as the finale of the f1 calendar but unfortunately, unless we see them drumming up more money than the organizers of Abu Dhabi and now the Las Vegas organizers as Vegas is pushing into Lagos further up the calendar as it is now the penultimate race of the season from 2023. We're going to have to make do with the Brazilian Grand Prix being earlier in the season. Not where I'd like to see it but at least it's still there like some other fan favorite tracks. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think there's another track that would be better suited as being the finale of the season? I'm all ears. Hit me up in the comments below. And yes, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.